Hello everyone and welcome to Omar Reviews and today we've got another episode of Steel or No Steel where I look at a steel book, decide whether it deserves a steel book treatment, if it got the right steel book treatment and if the film in general was a good film. So it's a steel book review and a film review all in one. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands is a film in which a young man, played by Johnny Depp, comes down from his isolated tower on the top of the hill um, and he tries to fit in to the normal way of life. The only problem is that he has scissors for hands, as you can probably guess by the title. Um, and the problem what Edward Scissorhands has is that he falls in love with a girl down here in this odd world of trying to make friends and trying to make a new life when he's completely different to everybody else. Uh, first of all, we'll look at the steelbook though, however. The steelbook's a really nice steelbook um, in the fact that it's unique. Uh, what I really liked about this steelbook was the fact that if you shine it in the sun, you get a kind of really nice gloss of it, and the butterfly that sits on Edward's blade, um, it kind of shines a nice golden colour, um, which really stands out from the rest of the whites and the blacks on the, on the cover. Um, and then the back has Edward there again and the red, it's the red this time which kind of shines out from the other colours but it's Edward in his nice childish kind of form which is something that resonates really deeply within the film and it's the same with the front cover with the, with the butterfly it's something that adds a personal touch to the film within the steel book, which is really nice I hate it when films are just literally copied and pasted so they'll have a film cover on a blu-ray standard case and all they do is copy that image and whack it on the front of some steel to make it look like silver. It's not really nice and it's not really creative. On the inside, um, you have two discs. You have the DVD and the Blu-ray. So on here, you have a picture of Edward with his garden. So when he's doing all his garden and the shear and the bushes and everything, it has a picture of them in there. And it's a really nice steel book. Um, it's something I quite, I didn't expect. I don't think it's the best steel book you're ever going to get by any means, I'm not saying that it's incredible, um, but it's a really nice one and it's a nice addition to any collection, especially when you can get it for around $7.99, well I did anyway from Zavi. Um, so anyways, the film. The film is spectacular. Um, it's a Tim Burton film and as you can imagine with Tim Burton, everything he does is kind of, it's a touch of gold. Um, Edward Scissorhands is a real family film, you can all sit around, you can all watch it and you can all enjoy it. Um, obviously when he comes down from the hill he doesn't know anything what's going on, he doesn't know the world, what's down here. So he comes in completely oblivious with his scissor hands and tries to make any comprehension of what's going on. Um, even towards the bed, he can't even get out of the bed properly, he ends up putting a hole in the freaking bed for God's sake. So it just shows how this character is morphed throughout the whole film and you go with him on that kind of journey. The only gripe I have with the film is that I feel that we don't see enough of Edward's time alone. So before he came down, we don't really know much of his backstory. We don't know much of what happened in the meantime. I won't say any spoilers or anything like that, but we don't know, we don't really find out too much about Edward beforehand. Throughout the film, yeah, it's brilliant, and you kind of go with him on this journey throughout with him, throughout falling in love and finding himself and doing different things for everyone in the community to what other people can't do, obviously because they don't have scissor hands. But it's a really nice film. Um, the soundtrack is what really brings it to life as well. Um, anyone who is familiar with films in general will know that it's a Danny Elfman soundtrack. As soon as you hear it, I mean, if you've watched Batman and you watch Edward Scissorhands, the, the transformation from the Batman soundtrack to this soundtrack isn't dramatic, but it's enough to make a difference and it's really nice the way it plays in with the film, the way it really brings out Edward's character in a way. And obviously it's Johnny Depp you cannot go wrong with a Johnny Depp film. Um, he's a tremendous actor and he plays Edward down to a T. I don't think anyone else could have played Edward as well as Johnny Depp did in this. So, in terms of steel or no steel, again, it's definitely a steal. Um, it's one of them films where if you can get it, like I did, $7.99, pick it up. It's a really nice piece, especially for $7.99. Um, if you're gonna, I don't think it's worth paying really, really big bucks for, unless you're a Johnny Depp fan. If you're a Johnny Depp fan, then grab it. It's really nice. The film, the film's one. I think it's a real classic film. I think it's a real nice Christmassy kind of film. 
and if you've got any spare change lying around where you can go and pick it up or you can go and pick up a Blu-ray or DVD definitely watch it it's it's hundred percent worth watching. Tim Burton is a is a brilliant film creator, and he even says on the front of the title, "From the imagination of Tim Burton." So that just shows you his credits as a as a film director. So hundred percent get the still book if you can, and hundred percent watch the film if you can. You won't be disappointed on either. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, give it a like down below, and look forward to more videos in the future. Thank you.